morning guitar players welcome to my Facebook live uh, I am Ellen Britton and today we are going to how to Taylor Swift who knew that was a verb but I just decided that it makes a good verb and you probably want to know how to do that thing <laughs> so what what we're doing is we're getting ready for our class on Taylor Swift on Wednesday evening, March 24th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Central Time, Central Daylight Time, here in, in Nashville. And I really hope you're gonna join us. It's gonna be so fun. Now you, it, just in case you're not a young female, you might think, well, I'm not sure if that class is really for me, but I'm just here to tell you that it is. It's fun. The the songs are really well written. Uh, you can play most Taylor Swift songs, maybe not all, but most of them with a few simple chords, which we are going to go over today. And a catchy groove and bam, you're Taylor Swifting. <laughs> so uh, today we're just gonna kind of give you a little head start on what you need for the class. Um, we have all kinds of people who are, are gonna be joining the class, um, all ages all kinds of musical tastes. If you like catchy songs, that's reason enough to join us. I, and in the description, I'm actually going to sell. And they are what I think they are. Yeah, but the link to, the, to Eventbrite, which is where you sign up for the class uh, next Wednesday, March 24th, like I said. And also, the other thing I really want you to pay attention to in there is there's a link to a quick, quick, quick free sign up for my newsletter. So just take you two seconds, put your email address in there, and that way you, we can stay connected and you can hear about all my future Zoom classes. I do usually one per and I always have fun, so I'm hoping that means everybody else has fun too. So what we're going to work on here today are the basic chords you need in two keys. Which, what chords, what keys? Well, let me tell you. We're going to kind of get um, our basic building blocks together in the key of G and in the key of D. So we'll do the key of G first because for most people that's the key that they're most familiar with, but D is also really guitar friendly as well. So in the key of G, what we're gonna focus on, get yourself ready, we're going to use national. It's the best thing ever. Also, it makes you smarter and gives you a lot of freedom to connect different keys. So anyway, in the key of G, we're going to use our one chord, our four chord, and our five chord, and our six minor. That translates to G, C, D, and E minor. And there's a way to play all four of those chords without moving your ring finger. So that's a super useful shortcut that I want you to at least try out if it's new for you. Uh, so let's just start there. Here's my G chord. And the way I'm going to play my G chord, some of you probably already know this, but we play G like this, not because it's better than like that or there's a lot of ways to play G chord, but because it's more efficient for the fingerings we're going to use here today, which by the way are the most important ones in the key of G. So this this is going to make everything easier. So play your G like this, ring fingers on the second string, and he's going to stay there the whole time. The whole time. So you got to train him to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use G for our one chord. Our C chord is like that. All we do is hop these two fingers to the next strings, just like that. Bass note on the fifth string. And then when I go to my D chord, my ring finger hasn't moved yet. Now we're going to talk about the E minor chord. Actually, I'm going to start on my G chord because it's so easy from the G chord. It's practically cheating. You're going to lift up your middle finger. You're done. Okay, so see, here's my G. I lift up my middle finger. There's my E minor chord and my bass notes on the sixth string. You better be really sure to play me the bass note. Otherwise, I don't know what chord it is. All right. So, we've got our G chord, C chord, D chord, E minor. Maybe in that order, maybe in another order, I don't know. For example, one of the songs we are probably going to do in the Taylor Swift class next Wednesday, the chords are 1, C, 
6 minor, 4, 5. Don't let that ring finger move because that would be just a waste of time and energy. Let him sit there and be an anchor for you. Now, with your right hand, I mean, not that every Taylor Swift song has the same groove. That's not true, but a lot of them share a groove and then you change the tempo when it feels different, but actually your, your rhythm hand is doing the same thing. And the big idea here is that we play the bass note twice before we do anything else. Okay, so here with my G chord, my bass note's on the sixth string, so I'm going to go bass, bass. is the basic version of the strum. Now we can kind of fancy it up in little ways, but we're not going to worry about that now. I want you to get used to going Alright, now, if you already know that or you've been playing for a while and you're ready to maybe tweak it a little bit, you can add a little filler after that big strum. So you can go bass, bass, strum, You hear that little, I say chicka because that just is what it sounds like to my ear. Bass, bass, strum, strum, All right? So that's really all you need for the key of G to play Oh, I don't know, Tim McGraw, which is maybe my favorite Taylor Swift song, although it's hard to pick just one, and a bunch of others, okay? And it's very flexible tempo-wise, so sometimes we do it a little slow, sometimes we speed it up and we get a, a high-energy up-tempo sound from the exact same groove, okay? Now let's talk about the key of D, because we're not going to play every song in our class in the key of G. We're also going to play some in D position. Now. What's the same about this is that your ring finger is not going to move, okay? The other thing is the numbers uh, sort of connect the keys. So what, what chords are we going to focus on? Are we going to need for in the key of D? One, four, five, six minor. That should sound familiar because those are the same numbers we just talked about in the key of G. So one, four, five, six minor, and we're going to add a two minor because it's just so dadgum easy, why not, okay? So here's my D chord, ring fingers on the second string, same spot he was in the G chord, don't move him. So we need one is D, four is G, and then our five chord is A, and there's a lot of ways to play an A, but in this context, do yourself a favor and try this way out because you don't have to move your ring finger. See how he just sat right there? And your bass note, that's an A note, so we're not surprised that that's the bass note. Now back to D. I'm going to leave my ring finger down. I know I keep saying that, but that's because your ring finger, you need to keep an eye on him because if he's not trained yet, he's gonna try and move when the other fingers move. Take these other two fingers and move them guitar players would say down, even though I just moved them toward the ceiling, but the sound goes down, that's why we call it down. So my index finger's on the fifth string, my middle finger's on the third, and my bass note's on the fifth string. That's my B minor, so that's my sixth minor in the key of D. Watch this. I'm going to pick up my middle finger and move my bass note, this is critical, to the sixth string, which is an E note, and that is a super easy, fast, shortcutish way to play an E minor, which is two minor in the key of D. So look at all the stuff we have. Holy cow, there's a million, trillion, zillion things we can do, and not just Taylor Swift either. <laughs> By the way, she did not invent these chords. Uh, so we're all we all use these chords all day long. Um, it's just kind of amazing how with these simple chords and a catchy groove, suddenly you feel like you're Taylor Swift, okay? Which is kind of fun. So anyway, I hope you, you all join me next Wednesday, March 24th, 6.30 to 8 p.m. The link to sign up and get more info is right there in the description. And uh, also be sure that you're signed up for my free monthly newsletter. 
and I hope I see you next Wednesday. And meanwhile, stay in the groove, of course.